Good Saturday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. Surprise, 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 surprise. I just decided I wanted to talk to y'all face to face for a little bit today. I tell you what, I've got a taste. I got another one of those cravings, y'all. I've got a taste today for some double Q pink salmon fried up. Fried salmon is what I'm going to be cooking today. Uh, I'll show y'all how I'm going to do my salmon. I've done salmon not too long ago when my son was here. But I just want to come on and say, hey, how y'all doing? Hope you all are having a God bless Saturday afternoon. As you can see, I got on my come on in apron. I always forget to put it on when I come on here. So I thought, let me show off my apron. Tony gave me had this apron made for me and gave it to me. I think during my birthday or, or sometime or other. But anyway, this is my come on in Chef Peggy apron. Uh, I may have worn it one or two times before, but I do trust that you guys are having a God bless Saturday afternoon. I am. I've been praying. I've been in much prayer for all the things that have been happening this week, as well as, you know, family and friends and all that kind of thing. So, just want to still encourage you all to pray without ceasing. Uh, keep those prayers going up. Doing something kind for someone. Find somebody to pray for. If you, you know, if you don't know nobody... Call somebody. I mean, we all need to join together because it is time to pray for everything that we can think of. Not even one single thing, but for everything that we can think of on this earth today. So, let me get started with this meal. I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera over here to the food. Uh, you can't see it right now because I got my camera up high so that you all can see me. So, let me bring this camera down all the way down as a matter of fact and that way I can get it trained in where it's supposed to be trained in it y'all know I got I y'all know I need I, I really there we go there we go now we got I just need to shift it over here to the other side of the room where I'm actually going to be cooking from okay let's get it adjusted Okay, there we are. Got it uh, on my skillet there. I got my skillet. Got my grease getting hot for um, the salmon. Of course, I'm, like I said, I'm going to fry them. But first, before I start frying the salmon, I boiled all my water out again. I'm going to cook some grits. I, I got a taste for some uh, cheese grits. So, it's going to be chef choice today. I've got one cup of grits that I've had over here that soaked up all the water. So, what I'm just going to do here, I've got... Um, Y'all know me and measuring. I just have the hardest time trying to measure stuff. So anywho, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pour that cup of grits into that water that's boiling. I will probably use all total maybe two and a half cups of water because I'm also going to put milk into these grits. And I'll just show you all what I am doing. Okay, let me get the milk out, y'all. I love a little milk in my grits. Love a little milk in the grits, so it's going to. I always cook my grits at least now. This, anytime I do grits, it's going to take an hour for that meal because I don't cook them anything under an hour. Nothing under an hour to cook my grits, y'all. I like them good old creamy. I like them thick, but I like them nice and creamy, and I don't like them grainy. So they have to cook at least an hour to get that graininess out of them. So. But what you have to do in the beginning, of course, you got to keep stirring them, stir, 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 so that they won't get uh, lumped all up on you. Because if you don't stir, you know, because they're starchy, they'll lump, they'll clump and lump on you. I don't like clumpy, lumpy. And if they do get a little bit clumpy, lumpy, you can always uh, thin them back out. Just take the back of a spoon or a fork and press on them, and those lumps will come out usually. Sometimes not, and if they don't, then... You got to get you a strainer or a colander or whatever and strain through them. And one of the things that I found that helps me to keep my grits nice and creamy is when I'm cooking them, before I start cooking them, rather, I go ahead and put, um, rinse them out real quick. Just rinse them, rinse them, rinse them until that water almost gets clear. Don't completely clear because you want some that starts to stay in them. But they cook up just better seemingly. To me, they do anyway. Okay, they're starting to thicken already. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pour me a little bit of milk. About a fourth of a cup of milk in there. There we go. And then I'm going to, when, once 
once they get to boiling real good, I'll turn that heat all the way down, y'all, and um, let them cook for that hour that I was mentioning. Um, I, I might be in a little bit of trouble because I don't have any salt. I just don't buy salt no more, y'all. But I'm sure I can find some somewhere. But what you do as far as the seasoning, just season them to your taste as far as salt is concerned. Butter. And like I said, I'm, I, I always put cheese in my grits. Kareem likes sugar. That's his choice for his grits. And, you know, as you're cooking them, if they don't thicken up enough, all you got to do is add a little more grits to it. They'll thicken right up. But let them cook at this point right here to get to so that I know. So they're nice and smooth. Now, they're not going to lump on me now. Okay, so I can go ahead and turn that heat down. Get that heat turned down now. Because if I don't, they're going to be all over the stove. All over the stew. So they're boiling pretty good so, so they don't pop all of everything. I'm just sit that lid on top to catch what's popping. But don't put it all the way down now because they'll boil over. When they start to cook down, then you can put that lid all the way on. And if need be, if they're not thick enough, like I say, you can add more grits. Just put water, thin them out with a little water, and pour in until they get as thick as you want them so they can cook as long as you want. And if they are too thin, if they are too thick, just do the opposite. Just pour water only to or some more milk and just thin them out. Okay, I've got my oil over here heating up. So while these, I'm just going to leave it like that for a few more minutes. And I'm going to come on over here now to the side and start mixing uh, my salmon. I've got one can of uh, salmon. It's double Q pink salmon. One can. I've already taken them out of the can. And you know, there's a little bone. Because salmon do have bones. They have a bone, but because they're canned and have sat in that uh, brine, that bone has broken all the way down. It's sort of crumbly like. But you go ahead and take that out of the middle of those salmon. So let's get back here so you can. I've already done that part, y'all. In fact. I have already put my seasonings in. Because this, this is not, you know, this part of cooking the salmon is just not, um, it's not a real big instructional type thing. So anyway, I got that can of salmon into a little bowl here. I've got a, one small onion chopped in it, one egg, one just regular large egg, and I got about three tablespoons of meal, corn meal. Or if you don't have milk, you put flour. And then I'm going to sprinkle about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. This is one of those recipes where you got to have black pepper. At least I, I do anyway. You know what black pepper do. Y'all Y'all know what black pepper do. So, got my black pepper in. My grits are cooking nicely. So, I'm going to go ahead, because I got the salmon down under there. I'm just going to start uh, mixing them like so. Get everything mixed up. And also, I put a little bit of my chicken bouillon seasoning because I like my salmon seasoned up really, really, really good, y'all. So, so, go ahead and get them all mixed up. Get all my ingredients mixed together. And you know what? This is such a, a great dish, such a good traditional dish. And it's one that is so easy to make. All you got to do, the worst thing you can do with this salmon when you're doing this, if you forget to take those bones out the middle, because who wants to be crunching down on those bones? I don't. That's the only thing I think you could go wrong doing, because as far as mixing it and then cooking it, it's not a whole lot to do. Just make sure you get them mixed real, real good. And you want to mix so you can make uh, salmon patties, okay? And you got to have enough uh, egg and... and um, meal or flour in there so that they stick together so when you drop them they won't fall apart okay now in that can of salmon there is uh probably a fourth a cup of, of liquid you can pour some of that off you only need about a couple tablespoons and that's in order that when you put your your um meal in you know you, you'll have enough to wet that meal but you don't want it too too wet because then 
it just won't do right. It won't stick together right. So, okay. Let me get a dish towel here. I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling. So, my grits have been cooking how long, y'all? About 10 minutes. That's what I thought. So, we got about another 45 minutes on those grits. They're going to be nice and thick and creamy. I love them like that. And you know, the other thing, too, that you have to think about. Now, when you are cooking grits and you put margarine in them. Okay, listen to me. Because water, because water, because margarine has a water content, it will make your grits watery. Now, if you cook the margarine in there, they do a little bit better. But if you put it in after you cook, it's going to get watery. Now, if you got some real butter, now, it don't make any difference. You can put it in at any point. It's going to be all right because guess what? Butter is oil. It's not watery. So just remember that. So if you've had grits sometime, you put, you know, margarine in them and they get soupy. Just because of the water content in the butter. Yeah. Okay. I think this might be all right, y'all. And what I'm going to do is just get a large spoon. And start spinning these into the pan. Okay. Yeah. Let's see there. Yeah. But my grease is a little bit too hot right this minute, so I got time to just stir it a little bit more and make sure that and my countertops are clean, y'all. I sanitize my whole kitchen two or three times a day. Um, okay. I know somebody saw that piece of salmon fall on the counter. And I don't think you can't do it even now. If you drop it on the floor, you can't. Even though I mop my floors two or three times a week, most of the time, you can't do it with the stuff dropping on the floor, y'all. So we're going to make those patties about, like my hands are clean as well. We're going to make those patties about like that. Okay? I don't like big, big patties. I like them just about like that. Okay? My oil is so hot. Why is the oil so hot? It is hot. Well, that's okay. It's going to cool down because I've got to turn all the way down, y'all. You want that heat on high but not too high and put enough, you know, in that patty about like so. This is a tablespoon. Okay? And I'm thinking I'll get eight or nine patties. This is going to be so, 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 so good with my uh, good old cheese grits and a, oh, ooh, am I making a mess? Mm, so, uh, with my uh, cheese grits, it's going to be so wonderful. Like I said, when you're cooking, honey, things happen. Things happen, things happen, trust me, trust me, they happen. And I will, you know, make sure, because when you fry the two cans of salmon, you know, you're going to have to use more than one, one, uh, you have to do it more than one time, so. I think I made that last one, maybe a little bit too big, but we ain't going to worry about it. Now get that heat down, because we want to cook these long enough that they go ahead and stay together, and, um. Okay, so we're just about done here. So I got eight. Okay, eight. That's why I figured eight or nine. So that's that's a good number for a can of salmon. And you know, salmon is one of those those uh, things that they freeze well. If you have something left over, they don't really not. Well, I would keep them on the freezer, but you could freeze them. I mean, you'd have to cook a mighty lot for them to freeze. Uh, let me wash my hands. I'm coming right back. Okay, got my hands all cleaned up, stove clean. Okay. Get stuff out the way. Okay, so now on medium low heat is where I want to cook these. 
And it's going to take about a good 15, 20 minutes, about 20 minutes, because I want those uh, salmon to get a nice, good, crispy crust on the outside so that um, the inside will be good and, and cooked and all those good seasonings will be cooked in. So, I mean, that's how you do salmon patties or salmon croquettes, however you want to call them. Uh, get it over there. Everything is cooking nicely. And check the grits. See if they're bubbling. At this, at about 20 minutes, that's what you want those grits to look like. Okay. Now I'm gonna thin them out here in a little bit. At about 30 minutes, I'm gonna thin them out a little bit because I need them to, to really cook. Okay. Mm. You know, the grits are good, period. Mm. With or without butter and stuff, grits just has its own flavor that I love, 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 love. So in about five minutes, I'm going to drop some butter in, and then we're going to keep it going, and then I'll put some more butter in at the end when I'm done cooking them. So if you'll hang tight for me, I will be right back. Okay, y'all, it's time to turn the salmon. I think I got a nice <clears throat> brown enough on, yeah, they're nice. Now, this is the way I like my salmon, nice and crispy on the first side, like, like that. Them, them look like mama salmon right there. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you see that onion where you, you know, cook it to the point where the onion is sort of dark in there, sort of burnt a little bit. You see the other side, we don't have to cook it as long, but just so we get one side like that, <clears throat> so they're nice and crispy. I can just remember as a child, and what a little crispy. I can remember I'd love to have a little crispy things that was floating in the grease there. And Lord Jesus, she had always, whenever she cooked salmon, she cooked biscuits, y'all. But I, I'm not going to jump out there today with biscuits. I, 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 I can't do that. I can't do that. So my grits are doing well. I have added more, a little bit more milk to them because I want them sort of a, um, let me show you what I want them to be doing. You see what they're doing in there? Can you see what they're doing? It's how they bubble and jump up every once in a while. That's how I want those grits cooking. And they've got about another 20 minutes. Uh, let's see, yeah, probably about 20 minutes, 20, 25 more minutes to cook. Um, just like I said, about an hour, you know, an hour, <coughs> 45 minutes to an hour, and I'll taste test them, of course. But those salmon are cooking perfectly. And I realized one thing in the beginning of this video, y'all forgive me so I don't have to start this video all the way back over. I shot uh, the first part of it, call myself getting in frame, but I did not get totally in frame. I just saw look. I'm going to come back on and say, hey, I didn't realize I didn't have the camera sitting in the right spot, y'all, because, again, I got a small area that I'm cooking in, so y'all charge it to my head and not my heart. Okay. So what I'm going to do here in a minute, I'm going to get go ahead and get me a, a plate for my salmon. And as soon as I get the salmon out of the grease, I will turn the camera back around and I will stand in a better spot. I know where I need to be standing now in order to get myself on the video. Because that was my whole point. Because y'all know me. I don't like to be a distraction. I, I want, you know, and I will, I've always just like that. Because I want the focus to be on the cooking and on what I'm saying. I'm not shy or anything like that. Because my whole work life, I had to be up in front of people talking and whatever. And I learned then that, you know, when you're presenting um, or talking, about 80%, 85 might even be more now percent of the attention goes to what people see versus what they hear. Okay. Whether they are extremely uh, positive or extremely negative, that visual still weighs whatever else is going on. Unless you're just the best orator or best speaker in the world and everybody's just glued on what you're saying. So, like I say, we're going to fry these up. 
uh, I think I fried those up about 12 minutes on that one side and this other side probably about 6 or 7 minutes and they'll be ready to take out of the grease y'all. I'm not going to drain them because I like a little bit of that oil in there for when I put them in my grits and mash them up and oh yes lord I'm waiting on this dish can y'all tell so anyway let me see if I can get this camera reset and I'm going to turn around and talk to you where I know that you can see me um as a matter of fact, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to wait until the end. Get me a plate of food and a cup of, of hot lemon ginger tea. And I'm going to sit for a minute and talk to you. How is that? Okay. Sound good? Alrighty then. So, let's see now. I'm, I'm Like I said, I'm not going to drain the salmon. Make sure. I don't want to. I'm not going to cook them as much on both sides, okay? Probably about another couple of minutes and we're going to go ahead and take these babies out because our grits have, um, let's see, I think I've done them 20, 25, I think I've cooked the grits about 25 minutes. So another 15 minutes and the grits should be ready. And of course I'm going to cook, um, I want an over easy egg. Now for me, he's going to do it. He's walking now, so I'm going to keep walking. sure he wants he will eat eggs. He loves eggs. I don't know if he's hanging out with me on this meal or not, because I've got some some of that foot long sandwich left over. He may want to eat that. Y'all know me. I don't like to waste food, so I shall wait until he returns and find out what he wants. How about rocks? Okay, so guys, uh, hang on a minute, and I'll return. I'm just gonna get everything straightened up here so that when I get ready to sit down and eat, I can. Okay, uh, it is time to get the salmon out of the pan. I think they have cooked quite enough. So drain them like so. Let's turn that burner off. Patties, okay. I did get eight. I'll keep counting, so I'll count back to seven, y'all. We need eight. We need eight. Whoops. Whoops. So what are you all planning today? What are y'all doing? You know, I got some things I want to do. Maybe you just been, didn't want to go do them. I just don't even want to go do them. I may ever. I might, I might be able to drag Tanya out. <laughs> I don't know what she got up her little sleeve today. Hold on there, y'all. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, India cooking. What's going on, boy? I didn't recognize that number. Yeah. Okay. My salmon patties are ready. So what I'm getting ready to do here, y'all, and the grits are about done. I'm going to get ready to fry me some of this French bread. And I'm just what I'm doing. I got melt some butter in the skillet. I'm going to do both sides, I think. Yeah, do both sides, and I'll put garlic on one side. Some fried up bread. Fried up bread, y'all. Fried up bread, y'all. I'm going to put butter on that one. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to be sort of carb intensive, but I, I don't do this that often. And y'all know what? I got another dish I'm not going to tell y'all. I, you know, I'm telling you, I, I guess my mind is on creating different foods and tasting certain other foods that I've not tasted in a long time or haven't prepared in a long time. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be doing some little different things here shortly. I love cooking. Can y'all tell? Okay, I don't want to burn that. Thing, so. Put these on the right page over here. Mm. 
Mm. Got that heat up high. Now, you know you can burn butter right quick and be so sad. I'm gonna take that right off the burner because I don't want my butter burn. You know butter is expensive, so we don't need to burn no butter. It's like bridges, we don't need to burn any. This pan was trying to be very hot. Okay. Okay. We're just pulling it off the heat. <clears throat> right off the heat. So I want that bread toasted really, really good to eat this salmon. So this is what I'm doing with the bread. So y'all see how I'm doing the bread. So when I come back, pretty much that'll be done. And I'm going to go ahead and fry me an egg. Okay, y'all, we're getting there. I'm getting ready to get the last of these little garlic French bread crispies done. So those are done. Now, what I'm going to get ready to do is cook me an over easy egg and I'm going to fix me a plate and I'm going to sit down and talk to you for a minute. Okay, I got my one little over easy egg in the pan. Black pepper and some of that cilantro seasoning. And I'm ready to get to it, y'all. Now, y'all know how I am about eating on camera. We'll see how that's going to work. I'm going to get my plate over here. i got it all set up. Ready to receive my other food. I always kind of go down the middle with my egg like so. Just to break it a little bit. Right there. Just over, and mine might be a little bit more than over easy. You know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. Okay. Got my cheese in the bowl. Okay, let's go ahead and get my egg right off on the side, right there. There's my egg, y'all. Three just did his run, so he's not gonna eat. I know he's not gonna eat right this minute. So anyway, there's my plate right there. Only thing I got left to do is get some grits in my bowl. <clears throat> I'm gonna be ready to eat y'all. This is a, a cup of grits. I, I usually eat about a cup of grits. Those are little grits. And I got my cheeses in the bottom of the cup. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Got my hot tea ready. Get me a little bit of tea. Get my plate. My plate where y'all can see it. My plate. Okay. That is what I've been wanting. all day long so just take care of one of my uh, nostalgia tastes for food food combinations meals and all that kind of good stuff so that's my plate y'all i am getting ready to sit back relax and enjoy my good old meal that reminds me of home mm. i got my salsa that's my homemade salsa I got my salmon Tough pieces of toasted uh, French bread, my over easy egg, and of course my cheese grits. I'm getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy it. So that's what I'm doing for Saturday breakfast. Um, well, actually, I skipped breakfast, though. This is like a breakfast and top breakfast and lunch combo. So the food is ready. I am ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy it. I said I'm going to sit down and talk to y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm going to just end up right here. Get right here to my chair. As promised, I'm coming back over here to say hi and bye, really, because I'm ready to eat this food. I got my food all in the plate, and I love hot, 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 hot food. So, um, I hope you're having a God bless Saturday. Hey, everybody that I haven't seen in a long time. I haven't been on screen for a long time, so I got my dinner. Uh, breakfast, dinner, lunch, whatever you want to call it, my grits, 
my homemade salsa salmon and my toasted french bread and my ovaries egg and I've got my uh, tea right here. This is my herbal um, lemon ginger tea with uh, the echinacea in it. So this is what I love of love with certain meals. So anyway, I am going to sign off here shortly. These are my good old cheesy grits. I can continue to talk to y'all while I'm staring. I don't like eating on camera. Y'all know that. So anyway, just wanted to say that I'm praying for all of those who are out there on pins and needles about the weather over in New Orleans, over in, in Louisiana, all up and down that Gulf Coast. Of course, our friends in Haiti are still, I'm sure, cleaning up and trying to fix up after that um, earthquake and all that came through there. And for the people who have loved ones that are falling victim to the coronavirus, uh, to the people who are still confused about the virus. Let me just turn the light on here for a minute. <clears throat> it got cloudy on me all of a sudden. Yeah, how about that? Yes, indeed, it got really, really cloudy all of a sudden. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I've already probably spent uh, 25 or 30 minutes. But I just wanted to say, come back and say hey to y'all and smile at you and say I love you and thank y'all for all that you do in the way of, of uh, tuning in to my channel and to Tanya's channel for supporting all of us YouTubers. So listen, guys, I am grateful to you. And most of all, I'm thankful you let me know that you're praying. I can feel your prayer. So listen, <coughs> excuse me, black pepper. I speak a lot of black pepper on my eggs and on my grits. <laughs> Woo. Mm, yeah. Anywho, y'all, let me get off here because I feel another sneeze is coming. I think I got black pepper in my nose. But anyway, just remember to continue to pray without ceasing, praying for one another, being kind to one another, and keeping um, others' feelings and concerns right here in your heart as they do for you. And remember to resolve those unresolved issues with family members, with friends, with acquaintances because they come back to bite you. Uh, I'm going to harp on that uh, for a little while throughout the time that I'm recording. So listen, guys, I'll be back tomorrow on the Flavor Train. Got to go out and pick up a couple of items for that. So until I come back tomorrow and we'll talk some more, I probably maybe I'll uh, have time to sit down uh, and chat with you a little bit. But I, I, did, I really want to just sit down and do a chat, period. But, you know, I get caught up in cooking sometimes and I don't always get to it. So listen, my food's getting cold. Um, love you guys. Uh, have a blessed rest of this Saturday. Beautiful Saturday. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. And until I decide to cook again, which will be tomorrow, love you. Have a blessed day. Do something kind for someone. Cook up some good food. Get on the phone, call them, text them, send them a card, whatever it takes. Or if you are in that situation where you can, stop by for a visit. Until I decide to cook again, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. I love you guys. To Lou. These are supposed to be the internet test, test noises. Show that rebooting your AT&T gateway may fix the problem. We can help you with that. The reboot will take about five minutes. Please be aware that this reboot will interrupt your AT&T fiber services, which includes your phone service and this call. Because of this, you may prefer to perform these steps later. If you'd like me to reboot your AT&T gateway for you now, say reboot now. For instructions to reboot it yourself, say here instructions. Reboot now. You said, One moment while I connect you to a representative who will help you. To help me verify access to your account, please say or enter your four digit account passcode.
sorry, I didn't hear you. Please say your four-digit account passcode. You can also say, I don't know it, or help. I don't know it. All of our service representatives are currently assisting other customers. Your call should be answered within one minute. If you need to view and pay your bill or order new service, no need to hold. Go to att.com slash myatt app. Give her methotrexate or doxorubicin. I'm scared. It's the other, not my call. 